Hey what's up guys, welcome to another tutorial based on this Deep House track. Uh, before we get started I'm just going to play the track through for those of you just tuning in and haven't seen my tutorials yet. So I'm going to play it through um, for those of you who are just watching this uh, to get you to get yourselves an idea of what it's like and then we're going to carry on from there. Cheers guys. And there we have it folks, that's basically what the track sounds like so far. Um, I want to start concentrating more now on actually trying to finish the track. So in terms of making a breakdown, 
and do the more complicated stuff. I know I said that in my past tutorials, but it's getting to the point now where I do need to try and finish it. And if you've seen the last video I've just posted up, I've just finished a Funky House type track, uh, which is called Funky Gender. So if you haven't checked that out, please go and do so. Um, there's also a download in the description where you can download that track if you like it. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get started. I just want to add a few more sounds and see where, where this tutorial ends up taking us really. So let's add a new uh, software instrument. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is that um, just recently I've got myself a few more synths. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what I've got. I've got Silent One, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And then I've got Massive. Um, I already had Reactor 5 anyway, so that's an old one. But Massive, and then Spectrosonic, Trillion, and Omnisphere. So let's load up. Uh, oh no, let's do Massive and see what kind of pads we can get. Because as I say, from the very first uh, tutorial, this track is going to be based more about pads and atmospheric type vibes from the track. So this track really is going to be involved around pads and all that kind of thing. So let's uh, see what kind of sound we can make from the massive instrument. Um, let's just have a little play around with some sounds and see what we can end up with really. Just need to turn on my uh, keyboard as well, actually. Let's just test if it works. That's quite an interesting sound. Um, It's quite interesting, I quite like that. Um, let's load up. Let's, I'll see if I can try and make this into a, like a proggy type chord. Um, that's it. Reverb on it actually. Um, how do I do that on this? Oh, yeah, reverb halfway up. Uh, EQ, take off a bit of a low end. I think I'll leave a few of these like that. Let's have a little play around. Um, actually, what I want to try and do as well, actually, is to save me having to worry about at the end stages of mastering it, I'm just going to do that now quickly so I don't have to really worry about it. Um, when the time actually comes, then it can just be a quick process of just finishing it. Oops. Start again. In case of those of you who don't know how to master, are wondering how to do it, this might be uh, worth watching. If I can find the one I'm looking for. Here we are. Right. Let's go into a setting. Mastering. That's that one done. You need to find a limiter with the waves plugins. Uh, we used that one before. Let's try. It. Let's play the track and see what it sounds like. Just 
turn it down a bit because it might appear somewhat loud. Turn it with the beats on. Let's just do it where it's all bassy. That's also add a stereo spread to give it more of a, a width image to the set the uh, mix. save that as well actually before I lose it. Right. Right, now we can get back into it. Uh what's it doing? Pads. Thinking of adding something like that in this area where the string lines come in, so let's have a little play through and I'll just play around with the keyboard and see what I can come up with. Too sure about that pad actually. I don't really think it works very well. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, trying to find something which would suit it. Aliens, see what's that? That's interesting. Quite like that. Sort of area where that gap is. When that gap comes in, the control. 
twice. Try and see if it was there. A little something like that, I think, would uh, sort of bring more of attention to the track. So uh, let's record that in. Alright, right, so let's have a look at it. Just going to uh, straighten up and even up the block. There you go. Let's have a little play for it now, see what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds quite good. So I'm just going to EQ that and sort a few other things out so it doesn't mess up the mix. Might put a bit of a high cut on that as well to give it more of a, a deeper flavour. Actually, so I'll take some of that away. Yeah, I think something like that would sound good, but when you've got everything else playing, yeah, I don't really think you're going to notice it so much because I'm going to turn it down a little bit as well. Right, so let's uh, start from there, for example, go towards the end. That's too unnoticeable, so I'll turn it up a bit more. I'm going to need to remove some of the high end to about there, I'd say. Can hear it now. All right, so let's save that. Need to name it first, actually. Um, what can I call it? Oh, no, just just for time sake purposes, I'm gonna call it Squeaky Break. I know it's a bit pathetic, but there you go. Squeaky break. I might. I'm gonna change that later on, but for now, just for time's sake purposes, I'm gonna keep it like that and save it. All right. All right. I'm gonna start focusing more on this area now because I feel as though there's a lot of stuff happening in this point now. So this is where we need to start working on the breakdown. So let's add another instrument. See what we can get. Uh, silent for one. Let's see what I can get out of that. All right, let's start from scratch and see what we can get. Yeah, I want them both to be sawtooth waves as well. Uh, turn the release up a little bit to give it more of a reverb touch. And then put the attack up because it doesn't feel as though it's a pad at the moment with no attack. And then. I might actually keep them as side waves and see what I can get.
off to the phase one now. That's it. I want it to be quite big. Uh, see what else I can get. I want it to be more of a pad though, so I need to try and sort something out. to the arpeggiator one. Let's turn that off again. Uh, this is quite a new synth to me, so I'm trying to get used to it. Uh, let's just go scroll through the presets. Nope. Nope, definitely not. Nope. No, that's another one. Nope. Nope. sound of that though. even replace that with the string lines because um, the string lines just sound a bit too mad so let's have a little play around and see what I can get Yeah, 
I think what I want to feel as though with this sound as well is I want the filter to come up um, as each note is playing. So not one consistent long duration gradually going up, but each note that I enter, I want there to be a filter going up. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'll solo that and I'll record that in as well. Perfect, but it's just to give you an idea. Let's just uh, tidy this up a little bit. This is something else you'll find yourself doing as well with uh, making music. You have to sort of get all this tidied up a little bit, and it does take up a lot of your time, but it does pay off in the end. Uh, Alright, so let's have a little play around again. Right, let's sort out the pitch uh, adjusting side of things. Alright. Let's put that for a pencil. I'll do this for a pencil, I'll do that for a rubber instead. Uh, Again, so again and see if I can try and do it better. This is going to piss me off otherwise if I have to spend loads of time doing that. Right, so. Got that, that was. 
was a pencil. Um, let's just tidy these up a little bit. I'm just for time's sake purposes, I'm not going to spend too long doing this because normally when I make tracks, I can spend hours trying to get something like this right. And then I'll get to that sort of stage where I feel like I'm for fuck's sake. You know, after all this effort, this might not actually end up working, but you'll find this for yourselves. If there's a sound which you think sounds good to start off with, then when, when you put it in the mix with everything else, it might not work. But it's always worth trying these things. Uh, which, who is it I'm looking for? In case you're wondering what I'm pressing to do this, I'm holding down the Alt key and then dragging across. Oh, not perfect. Um, Uh, right, let's just do the, the filters things and just carry on doing something else. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean in a second. Right, so let's cycle through this one part. A um, curve tool on that because that just comes in a bit too quickly. So putting this on here will slow the uh, time ratio down a bit. So something like that, you know, for each note, have a filter um, be aff oh shit be affected. So let's um, see how this does in the mix. I'm also going to mute the actual strings and then make a few copies of these and uh, see how they work in the mix. I'm going to put like, quite a few bits of reverb on it as well just to give it more of an atmospheric feel to make it more better in the mix. So I'll call this uh, feel so pad and then highlight all of them right click and name it 
Right, so I'm also going to do a volume fading because I don't want you to hear it straight away, I want you to start to hear it slowly. So put that there. I'm trying to think where would be the best sort of place to sort of bring it at its fullest peak. So I reckon there. But I don't want it to be too loud, so I'll do it to about minus 7 dB. Let's play it now. It might not work, don't forget. Still not 100% king on those bass lines. I'm going to change them um, a bit later on. But as I said, I want to concentrate on this bit area. Um, so I think to start making a breakdown happen, um, what I'm going to do is put a filter on the kicks and bring the cut off down as it builds in towards the breakdown um, I want to do something more with these new sounds that I've added but I don't feel as though they're quite right at the moment so uh, I'll do something with them I might even put like a, a clash of reverb as the breakdown's about to happen so you can hear a long tail of the reverb so anyway um, I'll just show you what I mean put a filter on there right this area is where I want to start focusing on building the breakdown. So, uh, auto filter cut off. And then uh, I want to do a slow fade uh, in. So I'll curve that as a slightly, so it makes it a bit longer to go into it. Um, and then on this, I'm going to put some optimization on the Space Designer reverb as well. Just to give you an idea of what I mean, let's actually uh, bring it up as well so I can get an idea of what I'm using. Um, Reverb output, it could be a thing. 6 dB, is it on 6 dB here? Yeah, that's the one. Right. Right, so let's uh, put that there. And then. Another one of these white noises here. So have a listen, listen, have a listen through now. As I say, I mean this new sound I've added now doesn't sound quite right with the mix, but I'm going to play around with the uh, 
settings a little bit and see if I can try and get it to sort of be ideal. I should put this pads as a and I'm thinking of putting another pad on there which is quite an airy one um, Going to see, uh, I know I said in the beginning as well, I'm only going to use logic based ones, but you can use third party if you want. I just feel as though it's better to use logic based ones because they were provided for you. And you know, it's like Fruity Loops as well. I used to use that before I got a Mac, and all the since they had on that, I thought was pretty good. So only try and stick with the ones that you've got. If you feel as though your music is developing quite well and you feel confident enough, then you know go out and buy some more stuff, but don't be overwhelmed with too much. All right, let's see what kind of pads I can get out of this. Um, textures I want actually. Ambient. Let's take it down an octave. Just try and record something like that in. Um, see if I can make it work. that in so it mixes well might put a, a phaser on it as well because I want like a, a phasery type texture on that as well it's also kind of that <laughs> Make a bit more of this. Let's right. also I'm going to, have to sort out the optimization again because. Uh, it would have copied what I've just done. So I'm just going to go in and sort it out. Here we are. Let's fade it in for about four blocks, actually. Right. I want a 
lot of low energy to be without either. Another reverb on that actually because I don't feel as though the reverb goes on long enough, so I'll put a platinum reverb on that and uh, do the same thing with this. I'll put wet. Here we are. Thirty percent, yeah. Watch, uh, watch this if move on its own. Maybe the uh, velocity is not high enough. Just wondering why it's not coming in. Uh, bear with me a minute, folks. I'm just trying to sort of establish why it's not doing it. Well, at least we've got the breakdown uh, happening, so we've got something developing. But I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, it works. So it seems to stop when another block comes. Let's have a look. Let's try looping it actually, see if that'll make a difference. That's very odd. I don't know why that's not. Let's try another sound. I quite like that one though. Yeah. Let's try it um, up an octave. Yeah, 
I don't know why that's not working. Let's try what we did before and see if that make a difference with the uh, note placed up. If not, then I'll have to try a different sound. No. Right, let's try something else. Let's try it with everything else. So the actual main pads themselves need turning up a bit more actually because they're getting lost a bit. I should put another one of these on there. volume of this needs turning up a little bit as well. Um, turn it up a fraction. Jump to about 20 if I can get it to that. Yeah, 20. A bit on the rest of them as well. That's one of the brilliant things about these wave plugins. You really can notice things when you have them on. So I recommend you lot to go and get yourselves copies. We more forgot. Flipping to me. I've got one more to do, that's all right. Yeah. Right, that'll do. Let's play it now.
we should start adding some more stuff in this breakdown section now. Uh, let's focus on that part and add some more sounds. So let's call this Deep. I have got another track called that already, have I? Uh, no, Deep. Add. Let's call that that. Right, is that another instrument? Um, let's see what I can get. I want to see what kind of uh, pads Trillion has to offer me. Deep tones. No, let's uh, go down a bit. Melodic synths, let's see what we can get. Later, I think to see what else I can get. Um, Spectrosonic. Let's try the silent one again and see uh, what I can get. Uh, let's go for the presets first. I want to look for pads. Here we are, pads. I'll play the track in the breakdown and see uh, what I can get. Play around.
here with me, folks. Uh, this is pissing me off now. Um, mountain lion was supposed to be better. Turn up the volume of these again a, a little bit. Sixteen, let's try that. In this breakdown with these top pads now, I want to create quite a, a suspensual feel, if you can see where I'm coming from. I want there to be a lot of tension in the breakdown, almost as though something's about to happen sort of thing. Tension pad. Name it as well. That. So let's play it when the beats start to fade down and. Gonna try and add one more thing and then I'm gonna end it there because uh, already we're at one hour and seven minutes so I'll do one more thing and then uh, I'll end it then and I'll try and do another tutorial sometime soon I want to add like a, a subby layer underneath this one so I need to try and work out what keys I played this in actually so it's Okay, right. 
Let's uh, add another one to layer under that. I'm going to use the trillion. Something like that, but I want it to be a bit of a tack to it, so I don't want that sound. a high cut on that, I'll record that in. Right, I'll edit the notes as well. They're not uh, matching what I had before, so i sort that out. Reverb on this as well, I think, to make it more atmospheric. Do a uh, low cut and high cut on that.
uh, play it from here where it all happens. Save it as well. I'm happy with that. I'm going to end this tutorial here and then uh, as soon as I get a spare chance I'll do some more for you. Um, yet again I apologise for there being a long delay. It's really quite difficult with my shift work. I'm not going to bore you but that's uh, what happens. So uh, yeah I'm going to end this tutorial here and uh, I'll try and get another one up as soon as I can. Cheers guys.